This is the world's first 3D display made from a smartphone. You can walk around the image and see different parts of it just like you would a statue in real life. Here's how I made it. This is just a cylinder that has a strip cut out of it. In the center, you can put a phone with an image on it. This strip makes it so that we can only see one strip of the screen at a time. But that's okay because I'm going to spin the whole thing so that the strip sweeps across the screen and we'll see the whole image. And because of persistence of vision, if we spin it so that the strip sweeps across the whole image in less than about 100 milliseconds, then our brain will just think we saw a normal image and not strips of an image. So why go to all this work just to see an image on a screen? Well, because with this setup, you can stand anywhere around the cylinder and see the image. All we do is instead of displaying a constant picture, we update the picture with a slightly rotated view of the picture on the screen. Then we do that again and again. So this will make it so that on your screen there's a rotating figure. But now if you rotate your phone and the cylinder at the same rate as the image on your phone, then depending on where you're standing, you'll see a different view of the object. Let me show you. Look how cool this is. Finally, I can make a real 3D display at home. I can think of so many applications of a display like this. And what's cool about this is it's really not that hard to make. This is just a mini pottery wheel. And it's nice because you have a knob where you can precisely adjust the speed of rotation. I have it big enough for two phones to slide in. That was in case I didn't want to spin it as fast so I can get twice the frame rate but you can just use it with one phone as well. You may have to play with it so that your smartphone exactly fits in it though. Now the hardest part about this setup is syncing the rotation of the image with the rotation of the cylinder. If they don't match exactly, your image will start to rotationally drift. This kind of ruins the whole effect because you can just look at a rotating 3D image like normal on a phone. So what would you use a display like this for? 